What's going on guys? Welcome to NASCAR Heat 5. This is going to be the start of a new career in NASCAR Heat 5. I have not played this. Well, I did just kind of toying around testing some stuff out. But uh, yeah, we're going to start a new career. And uh, yeah, let's check this out. So we're going to go with the cut. So I tried the dirt stuff. I just cannot keep control of the dirt cars. So we're going to go... Instead of starting at the bottom, we're going to start at the truck series. And let's go into career options and make sure everything is good. We're going on normal preset. We can always change this. Uh, super speedways, AI settings, normal. Um, yep, so it looks like we are good here. And let's go ahead and get this thing started. So how's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. So let's go ahead and put in our race car driver's name. And we're just going to call him uh, Your Fault is the first name. And you guessed it, Game is the last name. So... Preset, yep, we're good there. Fullness, uh, yeah, let's give him a, a little bit of a bigger, there we go, right about in there. Rough complexion, tone is good, so let's go, we got the buzz cut, hair color, mustache, straight, all of that. Eyes are good, nose good, mouth, chin, good. Alright, so the hat, we're going to start with no logos. And then I think we can add the logos as we go. So let's go ahead and hit continue there. Save those. And I think next is going to be the car. So uh, same same kind of situation with the car. I don't have any uh, logos or anything. I'm not going to have any logos or anything on the car. And um, I think the logos get added depending on the contract or sponsor that we pick so once we get into that part we'll uh we'll decide on which one we're going to go here we go so story of the week hot new phenom heads to the nascar truck series will your fault game dominate this season let's go ahead and continue this warren vegas agent hi there I heard you want a shot in the NASCAR Truck Series. My name is Warren, and I represent great racers like yourself. Before we get started, I need to ask you a few questions to make sure we get everything just right. Okay, so yes, we are skipping the Dirt Series. We're going to start in the NASCAR um, Truck Series. Actually, I think I just messed this up. So let's let's go all the way back out. I'll bring you guys back in here in just a second. Okay, so it turns out I did have it set up correctly. So uh, we're going to skip the Dirt Series and we're going to jump right into the NASCAR Truck Series. So let's go ahead and select that. And here we go. Season 1 NASCAR Gander RV Outdoors Truck Series. So <clears throat> let's see. Uh, so we can join a team. Or we can start a new team. So we're going to start a new team. And you have to choose from these. Which I'm not super excited. That like I wish you can create your own. That would be a lot better. But uh, I'm going to go. Since our vehicles are red, white, and blue. We're going to go Polar Star Motorsports. And we have the option between Hooters and Tunity. So we get a sign-on bonus of $23,000. Payout per race is 3400 and we run Chevrolet uh, with Tunity. So with Hooters, we do 4600 sign-on, 4800 payout per race, and Ford as the manufacturer. So I, I actually prefer Chevrolet, so we're going to go with Tunity, even though Hooters would be a nice brand to have. Uh, and I've never heard of Tunity, so yeah, we're going to go with that one. So, while every track has its own distinct features, each will fall into a particular category. Each car's build is customized to capitalize on the unique aspects of a particular track type. So, we can purchase a new car. It's going to cost us $30,000, so it performs best speedways. So, you have the Vegas, Atlanta, Homestead, 
uh, Texas, Dover, Charlotte, Kansas, Chicagoland, Pocono, Kentucky, Michigan, and WWT for raceways. So you could do one that's set up for short tracks, which is obvious, obviously there. And then you have super speedways, Daytona, Talladega, and then you have your uh, Canadian Tire. So I think what I'm going to do is this will give us a nice um, uh, kind of middle ground. Uh, we can always tweak as we need to for super sweet uh, speedways and short tracks this will give us a nice middle ground so let's uh yeah let's go with that so employees will help you prepare and improve your car's upcoming race so an employee's skills indicate how much of an impact they'll have when assigned to a given department check their specialist de uh, designation to see which department they gravitate towards the most. So Robert Westerson is an injured engine specialist. You get one on the engine, 12 max, zero on arrow, six max, zero on suspension, three max. So we have aerodynamics, got one 12 on arrow. So you can kind of see what it does is it, it swaps the maximum skills and whatnot and, and the skills start. So they're all the same. Uh, you know what, let's just, since he's first on the list, let's go ahead and get, um, Robert Westerson. So, would you like to start a team and continue? You can't go back after this. Let's go for it. Alright, employee skills can be upgraded through training, but only up to their limit. For this tutorial, you cannot increase any skill level value above five so we can actually we can go max all of these out it's going to cost us 5950 so let's go ahead and do that it's important to prepare your cars before taking them to a race to prepare a car you'll have to assign employees to work on the car's individual systems each system accumulates improvements over time as personnel are assigned to it. However, you'll be able to improve any system beyond its department limit. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to assign Westerson to the engine department. Once you have all of your employees assigned, press start work to proceed to the work plan. So let's go ahead and hit X for start work. And do you want to lock in these assignments? Yes. All right, for this tutorial, you, you get an extra work session before the start of the session. All right, so now we get to edit our car style. So I think we're actually good. We got the red, boy, uh, red white, and blue. We got our number. Uh, we have our Tunity brand label and all of that. So I think we are going to just accept that for what it is. All right, next season summary. Here's your lineup for season one. Ready to start? Yes. Polar Star Motorsports, number 91 Chevrolet. So you can add series, uh, which right now the only one we can add is the Extreme Dirt. We're not going to do that. And hold on. I think I just, <laughs> oh God, I hope I didn't mess anything up. I hit the wrong button. Okay, we're right where we left off. So we're going to go ahead and start season. All right, Warner Vegas. All right, great. I'll get everything set up and let you know when it's all in place. Okay, so we're good to go. I think we have the makings of a great season. Yeah, you say that now. Alright, so here we go. Your sponsors will provide you with opportunities to earn more money through incentive contracts. If you successfully complete the requirements of the contract, you will receive a specified payout. Okay, so this is pretty similar to uh, Heat 4, uh, I believe that was a thing. So incentive contracts you are offered will improve as your standings improve. So right now we have easy, three top 30s within five races, you get 2,600. You got three top 25s within five races, uh, you get a payout of 7,800. And challenging, you get four top 25s within five races, 
with a payout of 23400 So I think let's go ahead and just start for our first one, uh, the normal. So the, let's see, select an incentive for the following upcut. So we got Daytona, Vegas, Atlanta, Homestead, and Texas. So we have Super Speedway and then Speedways. So we should be able to realistically get this contract. All right. So we are set to uh, set to go. So here we go. When you have enough money, you can purchase more cars and upgrade your departments. Uh, you can hire and train your employees from the my, te uh, my team tab. All right. So we cannot do another car right now. So uh, teammates here from here, you can train any of your employees. Go ahead and continue. Uh, you can hire new employees. And for each car, uh, you get uh, two additional slots. All right, so how much would it be to... So we can get her for Arrow for another 120. Let's go ahead and select her. And let's train employee. Let's see, how much is it going to cost us to max her out? So hold on, let's let's go ahead and max her out on, on these. And then let's see where we can go with this. So we're at $19,200. So there's 13. There's $18,000 right there. Let's, uh, let's just back it down. Let, let's do halfway. And let's go ahead and accept this. That way she's trained up. Uh, so can we... I don't think we can... We could probably train him some more, but we're not going to. Uh, let's go ahead and so here's our season standings our future plans um the about me your reputation will change as you gain friends or rivals the more friends you have the more positive your reputation your reputation accumulates across all series <clears throat> all right so let's go ahead and assign work let's get our engine guy and then let's get our arrow girl right there we don't have anybody for suspension yet maybe after the next uh, uh, race we could probably get somebody on suspension so let's go ahead and start work all right the work plan is done so now we need to select our car for the race so we're gonna go ahead and grab the only car that we have all right <coughs> And let's go ahead and go to the event. All right, we are at the Daytona International Speedway. This is the next era Energy 250 at Daytona. Got some nice little cutscenes here. Let me adjust the volume in my head. All right, here we go. And let's go ahead and hit continue here. So we have practice. The goal time to beat is 49.517. So let's go ahead and start our practice. <clears throat> All right, here we go. You're clear, pit road. All right, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to do all of this. Let's throw our rearview mirror on. Uh, I don't know how much of the practice and qualifying. I'll show the qualifying session, um, but I don't know how much of the practice I'm going to show. We'll see if we can uh, reach our goal time and go from there. So... Uh, during the practice, it gives you this guideline uh, on the track to, uh, it's, it's supposed to be the quote-unquote best line, but uh, if you know anything about racing, there's multiple lines that you can take, and you can get varying results on lap time. Sometimes it's better to go high, uh, you know, it just depends on where you are in the pack, uh, and if you have any drafting or anything going on like that, if you got somebody pushing you. Obviously, you gain more speed, but uh, we're coming around here, and let's see what we can do on our first official lap of practice. They do give us an hour of practice time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to run all of that, so right now we just left our uh, tightness and our looseness where it was at. We may adjust it and loosen it up, uh, maybe a quarter of the way, halfway, 
just to get a little bit more speed out of this thing without getting too crazy on the tire wear and uh, all of that. Uh, we don't want the back end of the truck to start sliding like it's skating on ice. So we're doing pretty good here. I have normal assist on, so it does break slightly for us around some of the turns. Uh, which, I, I don't know if I like that, to be honest. I, we may adjust that over time, so it looks like we're not going to get our goal time on that first one. So, what we could do is... There we go. That's the button I was looking for. Let's go to... Let's return to the garage. When you go to the garage, you can... Um, okay, wait a minute. Why can I not adjust my tightness and stuff? That's weird. So let, let's go ahead and continue the practice and see if we can get a couple of more good lines in here. Alright, let's stay low in case any cars are coming by us. So right now our best lap time is a 51.482. Uh, we're... That's, that's not very good compared to the goal time. So let's uh, let's get around here and see what we can get on the second pass. Picking up all the speed we can here on the back. Checking our car stats there. Got to try to stay as low as we can. Here we come around, and let's start our official lap right here. So let's go. We're topping out at around 175. It's not too bad. Stay low, stay low. There we go. All right, on the back stretch here, what can we top this car out at? Looks like 176, 177. That's uh, it's quite slow for a uh, su uh, for a super speedway, to be honest. But it's also the trucks, so obviously the NASCAR Cup Series cars are going to be much faster on these super speedways. And we beat our best time. So I'm going to do a couple of laps here and just kind of get the hang of things. And I'll bring you guys back in if anything interesting happens or if we beat the goal. Uh, and then uh, if not, then we'll just cut into the qualifying. All right, so we got down to a 51-249. That's about the best I could get. Uh, we could continue the practice and do the entire hour. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to the next session. So let's go ahead and move on over, and let's go ahead and start qualifying. Let's go now. All right, here we go. So I think we'll get two laps with um, qualifying. Obviously, this lap right here does not count. Lap info. Uh, okay, that changes the view. We may do some inside views at some point get this thing up to speed we're only at 165 we know we can go much faster than that so as you can see the uh, the guideline is gone uh, so it does that only in practice to give you an idea of where the best line is on these tracks so that's why it's important to do the practice so you kinda get an idea of where you wanna be on the field alright here we go lap number one time starts see what we can get here we know we're not going to get that 49 we're probably going to be around the 51 so that's it's probably going to put us around the back of the pack um which is fine because once we're out on the field with uh out on the track with the other with the other uh trucks we can uh take advantage of the drafting and everything let's go ahead and get down low into this corner 
There we go. Try to stay down low as much as we can without hitting that apron. All right, come out. There we go. And then we're gonna come back down. What are we getting? We're at a 51.453, which we know we can better. We can do better than that. So let's stay down low here. All right, come out and get up next to that wall, kind of close to it. All right, so we do have the session qualifying on. So at the beginning of the race, you'll see that it's going to cut, you know, some of the uh, some of the laps and everything into groups. Um, all right, let's see what we get. We're at 48, 49, 50, right, there we go, 51, 291. So where is that going to put us? I put us in 32nd. That's not good. Not good, but that's all right. We can we can work with that. Let's go ahead and jump into the race. All right, you guys, here we go. Nighttime is fallen. So Johnny St uh, Sauter failed optical scanning station multiple times. He's starting in the back. Unapproved body modification during qualifying. Starting in the back. Pole winner. Uh, all right. Here we go. All right, man. You're coming to the green. Be ready. Ready. Hammer down. Green down. Looking inside now. All right, here we go. Majeski is in front of us. Inside. We need to get down low as soon as we can. Rubbin is racing. Keep that in mind. There we go. Now we're down low. I am using a wheel and pedals, so my steering might be a little sketch at first. Stay low. All right, Lassard. Outside, outside. Let's stay in the pack here. Let's stay in the pack. Yep, give me a little bit of push there, Rush. There we go. All right. Majeski is cutting down in front of us there. So remember, we need to get some top 25 finishes. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit of rubbing, a little bit of rubbing. All right, let's get down low, get behind this JBL car. Lasaro. I think that's his name. There we go. Let's stay down low, stay down low. So as you can see, we're in stage one of the session qualifying. We got two more laps to go. All right, let's go, Lasaro or Lasard. Give you a little bit of a nudge. Still there. All right. Outside. All right, coming around to the finish line here. Two going. more solid laps. Here we go. Careful. Still there. Got one oh, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, stage one. Well, crap. Oh, man. We're going to have to pit. We're going to have to pit. Let's go ahead and do no fuel so we can get 35 laps. Uh, let's go ahead and do fresh tires and repair, yes. So let's go ahead and accept that. All right. Take a breather. I got real loose there around that corner. I don't know what happened. We're in 28th right now, so now it's going to start us in 32nd. We're going green. 
Back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Uh, wait a minute. What? What just happened? How did I get a DNF? How did I get a DNF? That is not a good start to the season, guys. Not a good start at all. I got real loose there, and it just it, it went from there. So we'll we'll see here what's uh what's going on. All right, so here's our summary DNF. Uh, yeah, just not good. Not good at all. Man. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> other drivers, yeah. Congrats on your first. Yeah. This is the same as he uh, did it just freeze. There we go. Okay, Gustine says, hey, your fault game. Congrats on your first truck race. Welcome to NASCAR. Uh, let's go ahead and compliment him, even though we did really, really bad on that first one, you guys. Uh, we finished the 32nd DNF, and let's see what our next track is going to be. Here we go. Next track is going to be at Vegas, the Strat 200, Las Vegas. we got some uh, making up to do on a lot of stuff. we got to get some points so we can rank up and get into the uh, championship and all that stuff. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. Sorry it didn't uh, turn out to be much more of a race. It ended up being just more of a getting the career set up. But uh, the next episode, we're definitely going to attempt to finish an entire race and uh, go from there. So appreciate you watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. Feel free to uh, comment down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.